You see what goes on behind me while I make videos. Depending on the exact start date of your exam, we have five or six weeks left. That is not a lot of time. And I don't want to freak you out, but we do need to start getting serious now. You have to remember that this will all be over soon. And I'm not saying that's gay, that's supposed to be positive and motivational because it is not going to last forever. Because if you don't get the exam results that you need, that is not the end of the world. You still have lots and lots of options. Exam grades are important, but they're not the most important thing about you. So I know how you're feeling at the moment. I know this is really, really awful. So I've written a few short, quick things for you to do that will really, really help you. One, make sure you know when your exams are. Um, this one seems really, really obvious, but don't do loads and loads of revision for an exam which is at the end of June and not revise for your exam which is at the beginning of May. Also make sure you've checked your exam timetable that the right things are on there, they entered for the right tiers, so that there hasn't been any exam missed off. This is really really important if you have people who have the same name in the year as you or if you have a sibling in the same year as you. I once taught identical twins who got entered for each other's exams not my fault. You need to work out which are your high priority and which are your low priority subjects. So your high priority subjects are going to be things like maths and English that you have to resit if you don't um, get the grades this year and things that you want to continue with next year. So if you need to get your five C's or your five fours, pick your five most important subjects and concentrate on those most. There are going to be a few subjects in there that you just had to do to make up the numbers they're not higher priority subjects. If you leave them off your CV in the future because you got a bad grade in the exam, no one is going to know. You need to revise for your maths more than you need to revise for these low priority subjects. Three, you need to find the gaps in your knowledge. Um, so use the specification, use any checklist teachers have given you. Don't forget the science and maths all free to download in the revision guides over on my website. Go through, make sure there's no big chunk of knowledge missing. Use the whole topic videos that I've made, go through your vision guides, um, make sure there's no like lesson where you're off which is really really important because even the smallest thing could be a really really big question in the exam. Four, practice, 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 practice. I cannot emphasise this enough. Um, with your practising algebra for maths or with your practising essay structure for English or with your practising practical questions in science or graph skills for geography, you have to have to have to practise. This is really the best way to revise. Reading and highlighting your revision guide does not count as revision because it doesn't go in. I know this is a problem with maths and science because there aren't any past papers for you to do. So if you go over to my website, I've written loads of past papers. For GCSE Maths, I've written 100 grades 7, 8 and 9 questions, and I'm really, really tricky ones in there for you. For Science, I've written 75 long answer questions because they've changed the structure of that this year. Um, and if you're not prepared for how they change, just using the past papers which are available on the internet isn't really going to work. For loads of other subjects like English, past papers are a fantastic way to revise because Romeo and Juliet hasn't really changed since it was written, so... Five. You want to revise smart but not long. Um, your brain likes little and often, so you do short chunks and interchange different subjects. Um, I know this isn't going to feel like very natural because you have like hours, sometimes hour and a half lessons in school, but this really, really will help your brain. So make sure that um, you've got short chunks, that you don't have to get a timetable sorted, especially not at the moment. If you haven't done that already, you don't have to do that. Just stick with your school timetable. So if on a Monday morning you were doing English, on a Monday morning, revise English. Timetable, revision timetable, easy, nice and sorted for you. Just make sure that you take your breaks, just make sure that you um, are using good revision techniques, so practice questions, mind maps, flashcards, not just reading and highlighting. And then number six is look after yourself. You are really, really important. Um, you are so much more than a set of grades, a set of numbers that you'll come out with at the end. There is no point working so hard um, shutting yourself away, making yourself really, really miserable, working so hard and so long that in a few months time you're kind of like this 
stressed out, um, ill person because you've been studying so hard for your exams. You are more important than your exams. So don't ruin you just for the sake of getting some grades and numbers. Um, I'm not saying you don't have to work, but there are ways that you can work which won't make you so stressed out, which won't make everything so hard. So working in short chunks, getting a timetable, using your school timetable, getting some exercise, getting some sleep. Um, looking for some ways to relax, whether it's doing a yoga class, whether it's going for a run, whether it's just sitting down in front of the television. Looking after you is the most important thing I want you to do at the moment. So I am working as hard as I can, writing practice questions for you. I'm going to get those up on my website as quickly as I can for you. Um, making videos, I'm going to be on Twitter, on Instagram as often as I can, answering questions for you. So good luck guys, we only have a few, a few weeks really until this is all over. I am going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.